Hey guys, Master Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and I thought in honour of the nightmare that was the dub finally reaching the part of Dragon Ball Super where we got to see Ultra Instinct Goku or should I say Autonomous Ultra Instinct Goku no, the answer to that question is no, I shouldn't say that, but there you go. So I thought we would take this opportunity to show off uh, Ultra Instinct Goku on the new LR Gohan and Goten team, since we now have a 170% leader team that we can run him on. Um, just as something a bit fun to do, since I know everybody's talking about it at the moment. I kind of stopped watching the dub, because obviously I was watching the sub as and when each episode came out. And that episode was incredibly hype. I must have rewatched it a good like three or four times when it was first on. And um, so it was a little bit disappointing to see how they did it in the uh, dub, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I can't remember who I saw comment about it, but I do agree that if we want to look for some positives, I thought the um, voice actor for Weiss did a pretty good job kind of like hyping up like how excited he was that Goku had managed to achieve like Ultra Instinct. I thought that was pretty cool because that was definitely a bit clearer that, that that's what they were going for like from him than in the Japanese version. So I thought that was kind of cool because obviously as we all know at this point they've been hinting at Ultra Instinct ever since like Resurrection of F before Dragon Ball Super even started when Whis was training Vegeta and Goku on Beerus's planet so it all kind of led up to that moment and it was really cool to see it pay off and uh, so it was kind of cool that in the dub version uh, Whis got super excited about it but I kind of stopped watching the dub a while ago because of some of the rather odd choices that they made but there you go anyway. So I thought we'd show him off on this team since we now have a Goku family category leader with a 170% attack. Um, this Ultra Instinct Goku, I'm sure we all know what he does by now. I'm not going to bring up the overlay like I would normally do in a showcase. But remember, he gives himself attack and defense 100% with his passive. And he has the Kaioken style mechanic where he raises his attack uh, every time he super attacks. And that just builds up constantly forever. I mean, I think in the way the game mechanics work, it only stacks for like 99 turns, but obviously there is no event in the game that will last for 99 turns. So it's basically what we'd refer to as like an infinite stack. And his super attack also does immense damage. So the fact that he constantly raises his attack uh, and has the highest like non-LR damage multiplier, he's obviously a very strong unit. He always has been. Uh, because the Goku family category obviously includes every single iteration of Goku, um, we are going to be using the STR Godku. Still probably the best link partner for him. Um, he doesn't have all the same links, but he does have the First Awakened, which is of course the 25% attack link, um, which is probably one of the most important ones, as well as the fact that obviously he has Fierce Battle. Um, so he does have... Some of the better attack links that you would want. Normally on my Realm of Gods build with the UI Goku lead, I do use the SCR Godku as his link partner. So we're going to do that here. Unfortunately, they weren't on the same rotation at the start, but we should have them together next turn, I think. I think we also have the support. Yeah, we do. We have the support Gohan, who is 35%, is it? Let's double check that here. Yeah, 35% attack and defense, so let's do this and see what sort of attack stat we can get now. So we've got most of his major attack links activated. In fact, let's do this. So godly, yeah, he even has godly power. Um, it's a shame the Ultra Instinct obviously isn't considered Super Saiyan, because that is a very common link that Ultra Instinct Goku obviously doesn't have. But godly power is another 15% attack link on top, so we've got a good... Uh, what, 30, 55, yeah, we've got like 55% worth of attack links with the Godku, and then a 35% boost from the support Gohan as well, so unsurprisingly, he takes like no damage from a normal attack, we got type advantage, so the super attack shouldn't do too much, yeah, 4,000, wow, and 2.5 million attack stat before, and this is of course before transforming, so when he transforms, he gets even better, um, 
Of course, we're probably not going to see that because since we are only in boss rush and the stat boost from the LR, Gohan and Goten team is so high, I think it's probably very unlikely that we will drop under the 50% um, HP required for Goku to transform. Maybe we could. Um, in fact, yeah, if we leave the rotation like this, we'll deliberately not super attack with you. And we're not super attack with you. So Goten can tank pretty well outside of super attacks. But the Great Saiyan Man, despite being a very good support unit on this team, uh, mine is 90%. He is a world tournament unit, technically free to play. And he doesn't have an awakening yet. So he is just a normal UR. So he will probably take a fairly decent amount of damage in that last slot. And uh, Gogeta hasn't super attacked yet. So if we're lucky, he will uh, super attack the Saiyan Man. And uh, we can maybe take a bit of damage here. But in all honesty, I think UI will probably finish off Gogeta in the next turn. Yeah. Didn't really take too much damage overall. But let's see what we can do here. So we will get these. I guess I should try. Let's try and avoid the same type orbs. Just so we can... Um, not get too much health back we'll probably have to try and get the transformation in the omega fight though because uh i have a feeling that if ui doesn't finish him off here we uh will still take him out this turn so yeah 1.4 mil no crit required and let's move on to the omega event so Let's see, how can we take a whole load of damage? Um, oh well, there's barely any attacks this turn anyway, so... Uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll just not super attack with the LR. And then not super attack with Gohan as well. Why not? It's definitely probably a harder event to uh, try and force the transformation for the Goku in this uh, just in boss rush. But I guess it's kind of the same sort of problem we run into trying to force the uh, health loss for um, the active skill for the LR as well. But actually, yeah, so let's put you in the front. Because as good a link partner for UI Goku as the STR Godku is, and he is a decent unit overall. But he is not going to tank all that well here. So let's see. Yeah, 27. That's uh, much better. Now super attack us after this one. Because if he super attacks the Goku, we will take a very significant chunk of damage. But he did not. And the STR Godku. I don't have his stats brought up here. Does he... Oh yeah, okay, so he gets his attack and defense boost when performing a super attack, which is why he tanked so well afterwards. But that's alright, we've still got time in this particular event to try and get the uh, boost. Obviously, this is not the rotation for it. And of course, uh, we're going to get the Dokon attack as well, aren't we? Hmm. There's no way to avoid a super attack with the LR. So we'll do this. Because what I'll do is I'll skip the I'll skip all the nodes for the super attack and then we'll just have to hope that Goten doesn't crit. I mean he's still gonna take him out, but we uh will unfortunately probably get a full heal from this, so Boss Rush probably not the best place to uh try and get the Ultra Instinct transformation, but it's something that comes in incredibly useful in something like Boss Rush for Realm of Gods or the Super Stage. Any stage you can kind of fit him onto, really. Um, yeah, we basically got a full heal. Plus, of course, this is the Omega event, so he's going to lock us in place, which is kind of annoying. So, let's do this. Uh, we'll give you those. And we'll just give the Gohan this. So Gohan potentially could take a decent amount of damage in that back end. But yeah, even even the Godku at this point not really taking a huge amount of damage. So 
Yeah, and now he's super attacked, so he's just going to tank like a boss. 2.4. Because that's the thing, the more times you can attack with the Ultra Instinct Goku, the higher his attack's going to get, just because of that constant attack raise. So in the harder and slightly longer events, he's really going to show his value. Uh, when we finally get the new legendary Goku event that's just come onto JP, uh, with the extra, difficult, the extra high difficulty, um, that is a place where you could potentially see him stack his attack up to some pretty crazy levels so obviously when we finally get that event on global i'll be trying that out with a couple of different teams um it would be nice if it came to global for part two of this uh family kamehameha celebration but i don't see it happening somehow we're rumored to get a new lr broly with some kind of transformation um, but that's the thing, JP obviously don't have the family Kamehameha stuff yet, so it's not like the um, this new Goku event is somehow tied into this celebration, so, oh god damn it. <laughs> right, leave you there, at least we get the links that we want for this turn, but that's what happens when I click too fast. So, at least we know the LRs aren't gonna take him out all by themselves, especially without the 18 key super, but... I guess Ultra Instinct Goku is going to take a lot of attacks with type disadvantage here. So we could get lucky depending how much damage Omega is going to do. And he is going to super attack the LR. Yeah, that's a decent amount of damage. Goku is probably going to have pretty high defense now though. So I wouldn't be surprised if he tanks these attacks incredibly well. Oh, and, you know, get the free level 5 dodge as well. What? Yeah, yeah, we're taking like 100 damage, so. <laughs> uh, not likely to be seeing Ultra Instinct, well, mastered Ultra Instinct in uh, this particular event. I'm looking forward to the 4 year, the fact that we're going to get a new boss rush. So we've got something slightly more difficult to uh, do some of these showcases on. But if we don't super attack with anyone on this rotation... Can we get lucky enough to take a large amount of damage? We need Omega to super attack someone that isn't Goten. So, because Goten with type advantage, the fact that Easy A Goten is a very solid unit. There we go, super attack the LR. So we already know this is going to be like 100k damage. How much are we? Yes, we're below 50%. So we can we don't just don't don't take him out, Goten. Yes, perfect. So we're actually gonna get to see it. There we go. The mastered Ultra Instinct transformation for the last turn of the showcase. So that's perfect. So of course, transforming into Ultra Instinct, he gets a much bigger attack boost. Uh, where is the Ultra Instinct stats? So he gets key plus three and attack 150%. Great chance to evade enemies' attacks. Disables enemies' guard. So. Whilst that isn't the same as type advantage, it means he overcomes any type disadvantage. So, but unfortunately, we, uh, due to Omega messing around, we don't have really any links active with him, which is kind of disappointing. But let's uh, grab all of these and I guess we'll give you those and then those and see what he can do here. So... There's one dodge. So he didn't dodge that one. So that's one thing I find if you're like relying on him in Super Battle Road. Even though the great chance to dodge is like 70%. He uh, can get hit quite a lot. But So yeah he dodged like half of the attacks there. So not bad. And then we take him out. So we didn't quite get the best rotation for him when he did finally transform. But at least we got to see it. So... I wonder what kind of name, if any, they're going to give, like, this version. Because, obviously, the community refers to it as Mastered Ultra Instinct. But I, I don't think that was specifically mentioned in the JP version, like, the subbed version of the anime. So, now that they've decided to call it Autonomous Ultra Instinct, I wonder what they'll call the white-haired version when we finally get there. So that'll be interesting to see. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think they might call it. What do you think about the whole autonomous Ultra Instinct thing? I really feel like they could have just called it Ultra Instinct. And even though the lip movements wouldn't have quite matched up, I don't really think anyone would care. But 
let me know what you think down below so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new you can follow my twitch channel or join my discord those links are in the description down below and i will see you all again soon have a good one